So first thing, I'm going to switch off the boiler. And then I'm just going to remove this boxing in at the front of it and then we can see what we're doing. So we've pressed the valve in and we've determined that there is air still in there and there's no water coming out, which is a good sign. To check the pressure you can use a tyre gauge as you would do on a car and you can pump it back up using a foot pump like you'd also use in a car. But I'm going to be using this which is a Bosch PAG12V which is a cordless pump and it also has a gauge on the back there which tells you the actual pressure. So I'm going to actually use this to recharge the expansion vessel. So I'm just going to screw that onto the Schroeder valve now. There's just a little bit of air escape in there. And you can see there that we've got half a bar of pressure. And I've read the instruction manual for this particular boiler and it needs between one bar and 0.8 of a bar. So we do need to pressurise it a bit. So I'm just going to pull the trigger now and I'm just going to pressurise this up to about 0.9 of a bar. And that should do so. We're now going to disconnect that. So when you've recharged it to the correct pressure, you can put the cap back on there and then you can turn your central heating back on. 